Chapter 7 Dead Man Walking Fuck U.S. dreams to run U.S. streets I'm so tired of seeing the U.S. versus me My life was becoming a revolving door of jail and violence Staying free didn't hold any real significance in my life anymore I didn't give a shit about society's regulations and scriptures I didn't give a four-letter word about the loss of freedom. I was just as much at peace in a cell as I was standing on a corner. I was just as content staring at the white ceiling as I was standing in my father's yard, staring up at the clear blue sky. Though I was in caged, I was still partially free because the cage around my brain had just enough gaps for me to peep through. I wished I had a hammer, but it was nowhere to hang it. I didn't miss the girl's money or material. They were only temporary fixes of happiness. They were like the urge for a new pair of sneakers. Wear it a few times, then the dopamine dwindles and is buried in a graveyard of leather. Then the urge reappears and the cycle continues. I saw these cycles turn sane men insane. We were no different from the addicts. I would stand at the bars and look at the kids walking back and forth on the terrace, searching for something or someone to make them smile. Then I would look out at the penny size opening in the permanently cloudy window in my cell and see people on the outside doing the same. I used to pay close attention to some of my homies on the block that were institutionalized in society. They went from home to the block, then back home, then back to the block. They never went anywhere else. For years upon years upon years, they followed the same routine over and over and over until they began to self-medicate to deal with the self-torture they placed onto themselves. Some went from selling crack and fully understanding the effects of it to smoking a rock. Some went from selling heroin and fully understanding the effects of it to snorting and then main vein in the mud. Some went from selling water and fully understanding the effects of it to dipping cigs in the liquid. They were becoming their own worst nightmares, just like me. They witnessed firsthand how the beautiful woman we all lusted after became a zombie overnight. They witnessed friends' mothers sucking dicks in the alley. The honorable church lady having sex with a dog. The good dude jumping off a four-story building, breaking both his legs just for a hit of the crack. Yet they still tried it. We witnessed the kid being watched by NFL scouts get caught up in the street life only to squander away the potential. We witnessed a genius from junior high school become a stick-up boy then stuck up in a casket. We witnessed the next entertainment superstar potential become a lifer. We witnessed Len Bias, yet we still tried it. The guy walking back and forth that used depression medication to ease his mental torture was no different from the guy who sold it to him. Everyone in this lifestyle was slowly but surely walking into death or turning into a dead man walking. The ability to smile was so fleeting in prison that anger overpowered them and they all searched for a soft target to take it out on. Tough prisoners of war slash slaves never seemed to attack other tough slaves and even rarely attacked the overseers. They rarely conspired to escape. They were only focused on who would be the toughest slave in the gulag. Society was no different. They were mentally enslaved with no thoughts of escape. They robbed the old lady instead of the armored truck. They beat up their girlfriend instead of the cop. They pistol whipped their peers instead of the politician. We all understood that anybody could bust a pistol. But only some understood that the utmost respect was attached to why you bust your pistol and who you bust your pistol on. Busting your pistol over females deserved no praise. Busting your pistol on kids deserved an early grave. After a few weeks, I was again given a bond and released. I was leaving one psych home to go into another. If my outlook didn't change, the lights would go dim. Soon, I now had two adult cases pending. <laughs>